Welcome back to the Now Morning Show. It's 20 minutes to the hour of 7 o'clock in Trinidad and Tobago. If you are just waking up, good morning. This is the best way to wake up with us, rockers, Natalie and myself, every Tuesday morning. And we're about to make your morning even brighter because we have with us online this morning none other than the iconic Denise Belfort, also known as Saucy Wow, who's adding some other things to her portfolio. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, I'm blessed. Thank you so much for having me on the show. Wonderful to hear that, and we are thankful to have you as well. You've been trending in Trinidad and Tobago for years, and here's just another reason for you to trend. <laughs> Talking about, I know you have some new music, but you have a cosmetics line as well, and that's something super exciting. But first of all, where have you been? We have missed you. We haven't seen you in a little while. I, we realize now you've been working behind the scenes, but what's going on? I've been based in the States mm -hmm. for the past five years. Um, and the, the move was made because of my um, contracts and things that I had to do as the artist with the type of um, work permit that I have. Mm -hmm. um, it, it doesn't make sense when you have tours or bookings outside in Europe and Africa and Asia and stuff to be always flying from Trinidad to these places. So it's 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 better when you are based in the States or even in the UK where you can catch flights and, and, and connecting flights and stuff easier, you know, and, and it cuts down on um, expenses where the promoters are concerned. Yeah, definitely. So. I mean, we can't keep you to ourselves, even though we would really, really like to. But at the end of the day, as you said, it's time to tour, it's time to get out there and you're taking our culture to the world, which is so important and critical at this time. You know, with yes. the global pandemic, we still need to get the music out there. And you have some new music, I hear. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, I Before the pandemic hit, I was um, embarking on a 500 city tour. Mm -hmm. um, to go to Africa, Asia, and Europe. And um, due to the pandemic, obviously, I couldn't do anything again. And now we are back to the drawing board, trying to see where and who I can still, what countries I can still visit to spread the gospel of soca to the world. And um, the song that I was playing in the background is called Wetty Wetty. Mm -hmm. This is a song that I did for the African territory because I'm huge in Africa. And um, right now it's doing very, very well out there. And um, I'm just looking forward to hearing from management what are the dates and where we're where we really going in the next few months outside of the States. As an artist, I mean, I know you would have been affected, of course, by the global pandemic, as you mentioned. But how comfortable do you feel going out and touring in the pandemic right now? Is it something that you're ready for? Um, I'm, I'm really not ready for it. Mm -hmm. We still would make adjustments and do things to be okay on our side and adhere to the laws and regulations on that side. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm just somebody that, that roll with the punches and do what's necessary. If it's a situation where I can't really make it because of too much restrictions, this, that, the other, I, I prefer to opt out of doing a tour, if you understand what I'm saying, a tour outside of the States, I should say. Definitely but, understood. Mm -hmm. But the good part about it is, is that, you know, management has been trying to implement the, the, the fact and the, the, the importance of artists being able to perform in the metaverse. Yeah. I don't know if you all know about the metaverse, but the metaverse is, 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 is a platform where artists can perform and make money still and receive royalties from being in the metaverse than, than, than going here, there and everywhere and, and becoming, you know, susceptible to catching the virus or, or, or becoming ill or dying because of the pandemic. So this is something I think that um, the government and people who, you know, want to want to do what they have to do with the talents and the gifts that they were blessed with to look into and get with the times and do what is necessary to to make that money still 
being a, a member or being a part of the metaverse. Yeah, most definitely. It's something that we really should continue to learn about and push through because you know one thing about the global pandemic, the creative sector has suffered greatly. Dwindled. It has dwindled greatly, yes. It really, really yes. has. I mean, we've had to look for ways to basically sustain ourselves outside of that which we know, which is our craft and our trade. And talking about that, yes. you have a cosmetics collection, which is so exciting. Yes. Well, how did that come about? <laughs> Um, the lady that I'm a partner with, she's from the UK, but she's Trinidadian. Mm -hmm. I actually know her father and her uncle. Uh, her uncle and I grew up together. And well, he's from Dago and I'm from Point Kumana. But we used to go to church together, as in um, St. Fimba's Church. And I knew her from a child. And one day she reached out to me and said, you know, I just want you to know who I am, whatever, whatever. And she kind of jogged my memory. And she said, I do um, cosmetics, cosmetic lines out of the UK. And I would really like to partner with you. And I said, really? She said, yes. She said, I said, this is something I've always wanted to do, but I just never knew how. And we came up with the idea of doing my lashes line. Right now we're actually waiting on the sh shades for the makeup. Um, the name of the company is Mink Wink Exclusive, mm -hmm. and it's in collaboration with Saucy Collection. So Saucy, Saucy Collection can range from eyelashes to makeup to clothing line to hair to, to every and anything that you as a female would like to look beautiful. Extra well, I was about beautiful, to ask I should you. say. Uh, well. I was about to ask you how you intend to expand because you know if it's one thing about beauty and especially in this time, everything is available once you have the time and of course, you know, well, the time to invest essentially, which is how yes. we survive now. So tell me yes. something, where can we get these products? Because you know it's something that you we can, want to keep. Yes, you, you can, you can um, like hit me up on Instagram, mm -hmm. um, Denise Balfon, at Denise Balfon. You can DM me, you can let me know what you're interested in. We have a website, which is Mink Wink Exclusive TT. And um, we've actually sent out a, a letter to one of the major, major companies in, in Trinidad that they can partner with us and have our products in their stores. I'm just waiting on a response. Management is waiting on a response as to when and how much um, pieces they would want from us. So I'm just praying that everything works out because at the end of the day, I am doing a lot of things internationally mm -hmm. and I would really love to be able to partner with the local. Yeah, I don't want to be seen outside international and my local market and products got left out because, you know, I got signed internationally. I would like to link and put a great, you know, a great partnership and marriage together with the local products that we have and, and create tourism in a, in a bigger and brighter way by using my face and my name to push Trinidad and Tobago on the map with all the things that's been happening with me for the past few weeks. That's so important. And I'm really thankful that you mentioned that because, you know, many times, yes, there are things that are available online, but not everybody actually has access to shop online. Yes, even in these times. So as you mentioned, you know, it's right. going to be available locally. It's so important that yes. we're able to access it. So that's a really good thing that you mentioned there. So tell me something. I know you spoke about your tour. All right. Or the possibility of a tour, of course, given COVID-19 and so forth. What are you looking forward right. to the most in 2022 when it comes to your creative side? What are you looking forward to? The performing side, possibly carnival, or? Um, honestly speaking, um, even though the pandemic affected me, I've still been doing my stuff. I've still been doing everything that I would have done outside of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't give up. I just continued doing what it is I love. I found ways and means of making my music and myself heard and seen. And it has been working for me thus far. But I mentioned to you, I hate Zoom. That's the only thing I hate Zoom when <laughs> yeah. I'm doing interviews. 
because I feel like I'm talking to nobody. I'm just hearing a voice and I'm not seeing anybody and not being able to interact properly. But as as I said before, I'm somebody that roll with the punches and I just, you know, adapt to the environment that I will be placed in. So I really look forward to Trinidad Carnival again. Um, I would really like to say something and a lot of people will not agree with me, but um, what the what the prime minister or the government is doing thus far where the pandemic is concerned, I think he's doing a great job. And why I say that is because if Trinidad was to really get a, a dose of mm -hmm. COVID-19, I don't think that the country would survive. The Caribbean will not survive because we don't have the facilities for the people that would get ill and end up having to go to the hospital. And it, it would be an extra a, a, a pandemic pandemic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I am, I am, I am for what he's doing because I don't want to know that my country get wiped out by COVID because we just wanted to party and have a good time and, and, and not do the right things by having the protocol. I mean, it, the, the way that he's doing things, at least he's still showing that he wants the people to enjoy themselves and feel a little, a little free again. So, I mean, it might be on a small scale mm -hmm. where the NCC and everything is concerned, but it's still an effort. That's yeah. how I, that's my, 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 my take on it. You know? It definitely is. And Denise, we have run out of time, but it's been great to talk to you this morning. Really looking forward to seeing you perform again in person when it happens. Looking forward to seeing hopefully some maybe virtual tours. But until yes. then, stay safe, continue to expand your Thank beauty you. line, continue to represent Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you so much for having me this morning and to everyone locked on. My name is Denise Osua Belfon. I love you. Thank you for your love and support. To my siblings that are locked on, love you guys. Mwah. Beautiful.